I know it sounds crazy, but today's standards for conditioning, it's far greater than it ever was prior. Look at Arnold's legs. Where are they? Where's the definition? And so in comparison to 2022, it's lights out. Coach Greg, and in today's video, we're settling the score. Who is the better bodybuilder, Chris Bumstead or Arnold Schwarzenegger? I get it. It's not actually a fair comparison. Arnold was competing way back in the 70s and 80s. He didn't have access to HLT subs. He had no GO2 max, no Acti Builder. And so how could he possibly compete with Chris Bumstead? But for argument's sakes, we're going to see. How do they stack up against each other? And so Super Set Man has imposed Arnold's physique on stage against Ramon Dino and Chris Bumstead. We're going to go through each pose and see who is the better competitor. Who would have won each and every pose? What are their strengths and weaknesses? Let's bring Prime Arnold on the 2022 Mr. Olympia stage next to these guys and run them through the classic physique mandatory poses and see what we get. And first thing to know is all three of these guys are tall. Ramon Dino, about 5'11", Chris Bumstead, just over 6'1", and Arnold Schwarzenegger, almost 6'2". And so they all have classic physiques, all taller guys. And so let's see, who is the best of the best? And in the first pose, front double bicep. Look at Arnold's arms, without question, clearly dominating in the arms department. From the upper body, it's not even close. But look how small Chris's waist is. And so in comparison, he has a better overall shape. Arnold's waist was never small. Try to make it look small using illusions, twisting, turning, and so on. But in comparison to Chris Bumstead, it simply lights out. Chris also better legs. Arnold does have separation, but not nearly the size of Arnold or Ramon Dino. And so in this pose, gotta give it to Chris Bumstead. Ramon Dino needs to work on bringing the elbows up. Would look a lot better. And so you could debate it, say Arnold's ahead of Ramon, but certainly Chris is winning this pose. Next up, the side chest. I mean, look at it yourself. Do you know what I'm going to say? Of course you do. Look at Arnold's legs. Where are they? Where's the definition? And so in comparison to 2022, it's lights out. It's not even close. Chris Bumstead by miles. And so if Arnold shows up on stage as he did right now, they would say, hey, great guest posing shape. Thanks for showing up. But this is not nearly as lean as you need to be in today's judging standards. And listen, I get it. Do you really need to be that lean to look good? Well, for a bodybuilding competition, you do. But for the most part, everyone else in the world, they could care less. Many people would prefer Arnold Schwarzenegger's physique over even Chris Bumstead. Arnold Schwarzenegger in a pair of shorts. Do you see the guy's calves? His calves, unbelievable. And the upper body, the upper body of gods. The arms, the chest, the thickness. We've seen him in his movies. But in this side chest pose, it's simply not there. Arnold is a distant third, Chris Bumstead in first, Rabone Dino in second. And back double bicep from the bottom, it's actually Arnold. Arnold's got the best calves, although he's not as lean, the calves are huge. Full, monstrous looking calves. But he's not flexing his hamstrings. I don't know why, perhaps they didn't care about the hamstrings as much in the 70s, but you can see Arnold clearly is lean enough he has hamstrings. He's just lacking to pose them. We're judging based on what we see. I can't say, well, if he flexes hamstrings, they'd probably look great. And so I don't see them. And so Arnold, overall, he's not showing hamstrings. And so he's going down to third place. Overall, the best back that I see right here is Ramon Dino. He has the best shape. He has the best conditioning. He has the best aesthetic looking back. Chris's back is bigger, sure, but it's simply not as aesthetic. Now imagine this, if Ramon Dino could add 10 pounds of muscle, imagine how great his back would look. His back, to me, is un real. I can't believe how good it looks. Chris is bigger, yes, but it doesn't have the quality of Ramon Dino. But what about Arnold? Look at Arnold's Christmas tree. Arnold has an amazing Christmas tree, great definition in the back. Amazing, thickly developed back with huge arms. As soon as you watch the guy in the back double bicep pose, you see the back, yes, of course, but you are also looking at the biceps. And from the rear, Arnold has amazing looking arms. But overall, Arnold would need to be 
bigger. He would need to have more muscle and get even leaner. And so although Chris Bumstead is still winning this pose, I personally prefer the look of Ramon Dino's back. And in the thigh and abdominals, it's clearly lights out. It's Chris Bumstead again. Arnold Schwarzenegger has nowhere near the leg development of Ramon Dino or Chris Bumstead. Add to that, he's posing his abs from the side. His abs are not as lean. They don't have the definition. And so he's clearly not hanging with Chris Bumstead or Ramon Dino. What Arnold has is the thickness, the massive arms, the chest, the calves. He just doesn't have the conditioning of 2022 classic physique competitors. And in Arnold's famous twisting back double bicep pose, I got to give it to Arnold from the upper body. But overall, he just doesn't have the legs to keep up with Chris. When you see Chris do this pose, you see the conditioning of the glutes, the hamstrings, the quads, coupled with the detail in the back. Guy is so lean. He makes it harder for Arnold, who has slightly more muscle in the back, to show it 100%. But overall, I got to give this pose to Arnold. Although he's not quite as lean, he does have the thickness to size. And after all, this is Arnold's pose. And so let's give this one to Arnold. And just a reminder, the Arnold Classic is from March 3rd to March 5th. The pay-per-view is $59.99. Use code GREG10 gets you 10% off. If you're a fan of bodybuilding, you certainly don't want to miss the Arnold Classic. If you can show up in person, amazing. But if you can't, get the pay-per-view. It's not expensive. It's for the entire weekend. And remember, Arnold does not need the money. Think of it. He's not doing this for money. He's doing it to help the athletes for the sport we all love. Whether it's open bodybuilding, classic physique, men's physique, women's divisions, it's all for the athletes. But it would be nothing without you, you the fans. Follow my channel, watch as we cover this sport, and support the athletes, support them by getting the pay-per-view or going to the competition. Click the link in the description, pick up your pay-per-view today. And so overall, my opinion is, although Arnold is the GOAT, had an amazing physique back in the day, by today's judging standards, he'd probably have to get 10 pounds leaner. I know it sounds crazy, but today's standards for conditioning, it's far greater than it ever was prior. People argue, oh, guys aren't as lean today as they were in the past. Are you kidding me? Have you seen these guys? Have you seen them in person? Even a guy like Frank Zane, who was absolutely shredded, if he was judged on today's standards, they'd say, hey, Frank, come in even leaner come in bigger and so hard to say if Arnold could actually make the weight class I'm sure he could if he were to drop more water but perhaps by forcing him to come down and wait to make the weight cap Arnold be even leaner and perhaps it would do even better I'm sure if Arnold were born today, he would have dieted harder, trained his legs to get them bigger, and most likely would have been an open class Mr. Olympia competitor. Hard to say if he could beat the likes of Dorian, Ronnie Coleman, Jay Cutler, Phil Heath, but who knows? He didn't have today's supplements. There was no HLT subs. There was no code Greg to get you 10% off. And there was none of these supplements that were available. They were not natural back then, sure, but natural supplements and technology, food, equipment, equipment up today, our knowledge on dieting, as well as the use of supplements like GO2 Max that can dramatically improve your ability to do cardio, burn more calories, help you live longer, ward off age-related illnesses, and improve your overall feeling of well-being. Well, they didn't have this back then. And so imagine if Arnold were reincarnated, born again. Imagine how great he could look. Like the video if you liked it. Please add a comment, help the algorithm, subscribe and click that bell button. Watch one of the two bloops. Follow me on Instagram, Greg Doucette, IP Pro. Don't forget training books, cookbooks, the circle diet book, coaching plans by me and my team, phone consults. You can get all those. Code Greg, 10% off. And until next time, I am out.